Still on the campaign trail, Kenya Kwanza presidential candidate William Ruto now blames the huge public debt on heavy borrowing and non-effective projects and programs by President Uru Kenyatta's administration. Addressing university lecturers at his current residence, the deputy president says if elected, his government will improve the country's economy by prioritizing major reforms in the education and commerce sectors. A week after the National Assembly approved an increase in the national public debt ceiling from 9 trillion to 10 trillion as a stopgap measure to allow the next government to borrow 846 billion shillings to plug the budget deficit. <laughs> Kenya Kwanza presidential candidate William Ruto is now criticizing the move by legislators. Ruto is blaming President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration for heavy borrowing at the expense of devastating financial effects on ordinary monanchi. We must accept that we are living beyond our means. And we, we need to do something about our future. It is true that is other people's money we can use to progress ourselves. But debt is not free. It has to be paid. The deputy president blaming the government's priority in investing in multi-billion programs and projects that don't have a direct financial impact on ordinary citizens. You know, we cannot run away from what we can do to generate our own resources because it is easy to borrow people's money. Those are, we, do, we, we don't have the luxury of such shortcuts. The United Democratic Alliance flag bearer pledged to prioritize key reforms in commerce, production, agriculture and education in order to improve the country's economy through the bottom-up economic model. We must be clear on which are the areas that we need to invest so that we not only grow the economy but we also create jobs that will engage the energy, the talent of millions of young people who today don't have opportunity to participate in our economy. The DP, while addressing university lecturers at his current residence, urged Kenyans to elect leaders with a clear development agenda for the country in the August 9th general election. The punishment given to people who don't vote is to be ruled by fools. You know, because if you don't participate and voting is not, is not the final day, voting is a process. It starts from very far. It starts from identifying candidates. It goes through listening to uh, the, the programs of, of the various candidates and making an informed choice when you go to the ballot. Ruto further asked voters to scrutinize the agenda of various candidates seeking elective positions before trusting them with public offices. Seth Olale, 